Today we're going to learn how to create a simple triangle in geometry node, controlled by three points, where you can change the position of the point and always we will see a triangle. So let's do it. Let's do the camera, the light, go to geometry node, create a new profile. I'm going to close this area. And first of all, we're going to use points. And now let's duplicate it two times. Let's use joint geometry because we want to connect all these points. And now we have three points in the same position, so let's try to move it randomly. This one here, this one here, and this one here. And now I want to connect these three points. So the best way to do it, and the fastest way, is to use convex hull. And now this is going to connect all the points that we are going to use with joint geometry. And this is the best way to create a triangle in geometry node. Now we can move these points, and you will see that the triangle always will follow the point. I know maybe you're thinking, this is not the most exciting tutorial that I did, but this can be really useful, for example, if you want to show to explain math problems, vector problems with triangles and changing the position of some vectors. So now you know how to do it. And if you want to show the points, what you can do is to create a second path and create the points to instance. For example, let's duplicate this. And now let's convert all these two instance on points. Let's connect it here. And let's select, for example, UV spheres. And now we can decrease this and we can see these points. And if you want to give some color to these points, just let's select this material view and add set material. And let's create a material. And now here we can see the points. If you want to give a different color to every point, then you need to use this with every path. For example, I'm going to disconnect this and just use this one. So now this one will be the red and we should do a copy of this two times. And connect, for example, this one here and this one here. and connect this and add different materials. So right now we have three different points with three different colors and we have this triangle that we can use to explain, for example, math problems to anyone. And remember here, we can move any point. Or if you want, you can control these points with an empty. For example, let's select an empty make it smaller, come back here and drag the empty. So for example, now I can control this point, the red one, with the empty. So when I move the empty, I can move the position of this triangle. And we could do the same with the other two points. So I hope you liked this video. I know it was a simple video, but if you want to learn more, give a like, subscribe, and you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.